this short video, <coughs> I'm going to show how we can use two complementary binary numbers to perform subtraction. Uh, first of all, why would we want to do this? Um, it's easy using logic gates to create circuits that will perform addition, uh, but it's not so easy to create a circuit to do subtraction. But if we consider what we know from normal maths, if we had something like 7 minus 3, we could say that that was 4. And if we had 7 plus negative 3, we know that that is also equal to 4. Therefore, if we had a way of easily creating negative numbers in binary, we can use addition to effectively perform subtraction. So I'm hoping we've already looked at 2's complement. If I had the, the number there, minus 3, if I wanted to create that as a 2's complement number, so we could take what was minus uh, sorry, what was a plus 3? Let's just work in 4 bits for now. And we would have a 0, 0, 1, 1. So it was our plus 3. If we then complemented each of the bits, we would get a 1, 1, 0, 0. If we add 1 to this, okay, we're going to get a 1 there, a 0, 1, 1. And this would be what minus 3 is um, in 2's complement. Two's complement number there. So if we'd now write down what our seven would be, we'd have a, a zero, a one, a one, and a one. Okay, and now if we were to add all of these bits together, so if we're doing a seven plus our minus three, which is our seven here, we have a one and a one is two, so that's a zero, we carry the one, a one and a one is a two. So zero, we carry the one, three ones gives us a one there, we carry the one there, and then a zero, carry the one again, and we would have an overflow, but if we ignore this overflow here, <coughs> you can see that we've ended up with a value of four. So that's just a simple example showing how we can use two's complement um, to perform subtraction whilst actually doing um, addition.